Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video let's do the unboxing and have a look at this OnePlus 8. Uh, the box is very spartan, it just says 8 over here and OnePlus 8 and I know guys you are waiting for the OnePlus 8 Pro but that hasn't been launched yet in India nor uh, we have an exact date when it is launching but, but I've heard rumors that by end of June sometime it should officially launch in India. Anyway, so let's open this up and uh, guys this is a review on it. Uh, and uh, they have sent us the higher end variant that comes with 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. The base variant comes with 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. There is also one more with 8 gigabytes of RAM uh, with 128 gigabytes of storage. Uh, the 6 gigabyte variant uh, sells for 42. Then uh, the 8 uh, GB 128 will be 45, and this uh, is at 50,000. So let's open this up and have a look of pretty long box i have to say so here we don't have anything over here we have the phone itself over here this is in the black color but uh, they also have some new colors and i feel uh, those will look a lot more attractive but anyways this is what we have mirror finish back i'll just keep that to the side for now and let's open this up and uh, we can pull this and looks like something is there inside this one so might be the paperwork and our, our sim ejector tool this is here i'll just keep that in fact a lot of stuff they say red cable club it's actually a card whatever i'll just keep that to the side and then we have uh, so the SAR value rating it says uh, here and uh, it says India's SAR value is 0 0.92 and body is 0 0.83. So that's the SAR value and uh, some again plastic recycling or whatever and uh, wow so sort of a sticker I'm assuming. And we have a quick start guide also. So a lot of uh, actually material. I didn't expect this much material. Written in a very tiny font. As you can see, safety information. And again, uh, invite letter. It's by Pete. So let me keep all these things to the side and let's see. So we have the VAP charger. And now they are giving a 30 watt charger. Uh, so that's nice. And I don't know why this is uh, covered in such a fancy uh, box. So we again get a, a case. This is a flexible case. And uh, it says never settle here on this one. Let's see how it looks when we put this case on. So it looks like this. Looks like this never settle as you can see. So let me just keep, remove this. You can easily remove this one and let me also keep that to the side and you also get this cable so pretty big box in this so yeah that's what we have nothing else so let me keep these things to the side so here is the handset uh, itself and uh, let me give you a physical overview again in terms of build quality uh, the build quality is nice uh, the back layer and the uh, top are sandwich glass gorilla glass 5 and this is metallic guys we have a secondary noise cancellation microphone over here and antenna bands and over here we have that alert slider uh, which i always like and uh, we also have the power on of button uh, bottom uh, will be the speaker vent and again this one also has stereo speakers and the type c port and your sim card slot will be uh, over here let me just open this up pop this out so dual nano sims that you are getting again no expandable storage like every other oneplus device and on this end we just have the volume rocker back we have a triple camera setup anyways let's just try to power it on and uh, by the time it actually boots up and i set it up here is a configuration overview this OnePlus 8 is having a 6.55 inch full HD plus AMOLED screen. It's a 90 hertz display. It's spread by Gorilla Glass 5. It's powered by the Snapdragon 865, which is 5G capable. 
Adreno 650 GPU. RAM will be 6, 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM in India and 128 and 256 gigabytes of storage. Moving to the camera, it's a triple camera setup. 48 megapixel is the main, 16 megapixel is ultra wide, 2 megapixel is macro. Front facing camera is a punch hole, 16 megapixel. We also have stereo speakers, in display fingerprint scanner and a 4300 milliamp hour battery with a 30 watt fast charger. So guys, I've set up this device and in fact used it for a day, it took a lot of snaps also, I'll show you that later on. But let's look at this device and this is the default theme that you get. And this is typical Oxygen OS clean, uh, you have your app tray over here. And the good thing is that not a lot of junkware is installed, just a couple of apps that are sort of pre-installed that I won't say junk. So that's still nice, I've installed some apps like Android etc. And again, you have the quick toggles over here and uh, uh, these are the, we also have the Zen mode. And and the reading mode uh, the screen recorder is also over here and uh, if you go over here this is familiar uh, interface that you're getting and uh, this one if I go over here to the display uh, as you can see right now uh, if I go to the advanced mode the refresh rate is set to 90 Hertz so uh, this is on 90 you can go back to 60 Hertz if you want on this one let's just keep it back and I'm using the full screen mode and the screen calibration I haven't changed it a little bit by default it's vivid so it's a little bit on the cooler side and the punches up the colors a little bit if you don't like uh, you can go to the natural or you can actually set it over here so let's just go back and again typical oxygen os as you can see as i've told you i played around it uh, with it for some time and uh, this is that uh, 256 gigabyte uh, variant and out of that about Roughly, I'm getting about 230 GB. Uh, you'll get a little bit more. I have taken some sample shots. So you'll roughly get about 231 uh, gigabytes of uh, space. So let's just uh, uh, look over here. And uh, it again technically does not have that always on display. But if you just uh, tap, you get this. And this is the in-display fingerprint scanner. Again, as you can see, let me show you really fast. Uh, again, this was not a problem even earlier OnePlus devices, so same thing. But uh, still we don't have a proper, uh, what do you say, always on display. If you pick it up or something, it shows you, you the time and the basic notification. But again, it goes off. So let's unlock. And uh, again, it's very fast, uh, very fluid. Uh, I didn't face any issues of lagginess or anything. Uh, so that's nice. And uh, again, the build quality looks to be nice. Uh, this. Uh, feels actually good in the hand in fact and um, now also let's look at the camera on this one i was uh, very skeptical about the camera uh, yesterday when i was unboxing it uh, uh, but i saw the snaps and they came out actually good uh, let's look at that but uh, again to re uh, rephrase the main camera is a 48 megapixel then we have a 16 megapixel that's ultra wide then we have a 2 megapixel that is for macro and a front facing camera is again a 16 megapixel and if you look at this one uh, a typical uh, one plus interface that hasn't changed a little bit like this and this is that wide angle lens and this is that 2x zoom is not digital guys this is just uh, uh, sorry that's digital not optical as you can see so you can get away with it but again i would say avoid if you want just take like this and we have all the modes over here portrait mode the nightscape mode pro mode and all those things and um, video uh, mode is there it zooms in a little bit in the video but that's what it is and uh, let's go back to the photo mode and uh, this is the front facing camera again because of the processing it's very fast even in uh, portrait as you can see it's really fast so let me do one thing let me actually show you the sample snaps that i've taken with this one these are some of the sample shots taken outdoor and as you can see it does actually a pretty good job and the color reproduction is very good this was taken in the wide angle mode and here i use the 2x zoom option uh, some more samples and again look at the color uh, and the contrast here i felt that oneplus did a very good job in post processing these were some of the close-up uh, macro shots that i took and here also i would say the results that we got were actually pretty good now moving to human subjects again notice the skin 
tones were produced very well and uh, this was in that uh, portrait bokeh mode we also have a 2x zoom option in the portrait bokeh mode and i used that and this was finally that wide angle lens another sample this was the regular shot and here i enabled the portrait bokeh mode again they came out good moving to the front facing camera these were taken in the normal mode and i feel the front facing camera is also doing a good job and here I enable the portrait bokeh mode now moving to artificial lighting conditions in my office again as you can see with these sample shots these also actually came out really good they have that slight softness which looks natural and this was taken almost a dark condition in the night mode and here also i got some good results moving to human tones in completely artificial lighting in my office i was surprised with the results as you can see because previous oneplus uh, devices never got this right uh, so uh, i feel oneplus uh, post processing has improved quite a bit and these were some of the samples taken with the front facing camera and here i enabled that portrait bokeh mode so guys uh, that's it for now for the unboxing and first look at this oneplus 8 it starts at rupees 42000 in india but uh, that is the 6 gigabyte ram variant with 128 if you want to go with that 8 gigabytes of ram and 128 gigabytes of storage uh, it's almost about 45000 certainly i would say a good product uh, and surprise thing for me personally was uh, the camera performance is not bad as I initially thought. They have worked a lot on that 48 megapixel sensor after image processing and the results that we got even the skin tones and the shots that I took indoors came out actually surprisingly good on this one. So I was impressed with that one. Uh, so unless I would say if you're a very camera centric person or you want that wireless charging and stuff you can skip the pro and go for this one this is strange that i'm talking about but uh, i've just heard that the oneplus 8 pro will also be launching india in june itself and when it comes i'll definitely uh, uh, try to post uh, uh, footage about that one also but if you have any specific questions about this oneplus 8 do let me know in the comment section below that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys